create the asset master and one sub asset also sub asset means with reference to the main asset we are going to create some sub asset for example if computer is your main asset then sub asset may be keyboard or let's say uh, ups these are your sub assets so when we will record the values or we will uh, maintain the asset list so with reference to the main assets sub assets should be maintained as01 select your asset class company code maintain master data no need to specify any capitalization date here the acquisition date automatically system is going to calculate it in time dependent okay here one field is mandatory if you want you can deactivate this field in field screen settings or in field settings but we have cost center we can add it let me show you where you can deactivate in master data if you'll go to the screen layout define screen layout for asset master w100 w100 logical field groups now what is the tab the tab is time dependent time dependent it is nothing but field settings and you can see cost entry is required entry that's why it is asking if you'll make it optional then it will convert into optional but let's continue with cost center okay now you can see here <clears throat> as in this when we define the screen layout for depression area or depression key where we have linked we have not specified anything here that means this use life period all these things we have not mentioned here because we are going to maintain at master data level I assume that you have only one asset or uh, under this one asset class you have only one asset then you can also mention here automatically you will find in the asset masters okay but we have not maintained so we have to maintain here let's say useful life of the asset 10 years as for the book depreciation and this is let's say eight per eight years this value take one proportionate that means acquisition retirement on the basis of proportionate and depreciation start date here and here it is that means here the system will calculate the depreciation from this date let's say why because maybe some accounting rule or something is there so that's why we are going to follow this method this is just my assumption but uh, you can take the ordinary depreciation start date also just show you the difference i have taken this one Now create one sub asset so main asset created one extension zero create one sub asset as double one sub number as double one so with reference to main asset one we are creating one sub asset one so that number will be one extension one so all informations you can find derived from or it is the source asset main asset
Okay, now we will go for